Greetings everyone! In today's tutorial, we will quickly learn how you can activate a plugin via code. We will be using cPanel to activate the plugin. Let's get started. For more contents like this, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. So there might be some times where you want to activate the plugin via code as a dashboard may not be accessible. You can use the code via FTP, but we will be using the cPanel. Now to activate any plugin, we first need to log in to our cPanel. Enter the credentials. We have the two-factor authentication. So now we are in the cPanel. Go to File Manager and look at your website files. Usually under public underscore HTML. So here are all the website files. Now to activate the plugin, we need to add the plugin to the plugin folder. For that, go to wp contain folder and here's the plugin folder. Sometimes, if some plugin is restricting the access to the dashboard, then you can deactivate all the plugins at once. All you have to do is rename this folder to anything like plugin backup or any name and all the plugins will be automatically deactivated. Anyway, for now, let's activate a new plugin. Let me download a plugin from ideas to code So this is the plugin, Disable Email Notification for Auto Updates. By the way, this plugin works great. Anyway, let's download it. So the plugin has been downloaded. I will just skip it to the desktop. After downloading the plugin, let's upload it to the plugin folder. Let's go back to the file manager and open this plugin folder. Click on upload. Select file. So the file has been uploaded. Now right click and extract the plugin. Reload the page. So here's the plugin. You can delete the zip file as well. Even if you keep the plugins file in this folder, it will not be automatically installed on the website. Instead, they will have to be activated. So to activate plugins via code, we need the folder's name and plugin file name. Let's copy the plugin folder's name. I find it easy by clicking on rename and copying it. Let me copy it to the notepad. and open this plugin folder and copy the name of this main php file which is this one now for example for lightspeed cache this be the folder name then this will be the file name anyway now since we assume that we do not have access to the wordpress dashboard let's add some codes to activate the plugin Go back, again go to wp contain themes, locate the theme the site is using and find functions.php, right click on it and edit, scroll down, now we need to add some codes here, here is the code, simply copy this code to functions.php. We will need to replace the plugin folder's name and plugin name here, the one we copied earlier. Let's copy the folder name and the php file name. Make sure .php is there and save changes. So the file has been saved. Now the plugin will have been activated on the website. To confirm, let's quickly check it on the site. Go to wp admin, enter the credentials. So we are in the dashboard. Go to plugins. So here you can see the plugin has been activated. Please note you will not be able to deactivate this plugin. As you can see, we cannot deactivate it. To deactivate, we have to remove the code we added earlier. Now in order to remove the code, 
go to appearance and theme editor and go to functions.php scroll down so we can see the codes at the bottom remove it update file now if you go back to plugins so this plugin can be activated or deactivated normally as you can see so this is how you can activate a plugin via simple code you can either use ftp or cpanel to access the files of your website hope this lesson was useful thank you very much